Okay, we're getting ready to upset the spokes. I've had my base in the water, so I'm going to have a towel down here to kind of catch it. Um, if it's not too big, and if it doesn't have a handle, you can actually just put your base back in the water to, to soak it. Um, if not, what you can do is take it and just spray the spokes right at the twining on the front and the back to make sure it's good and wet there. You want it to be good and wet. Make sure you turn it back over so that you have your pencil marks showing. You want to make sure the pencil marks are showing. And then you can get, you can keep your towel there for now. And what you're going to do is take your spokes and you're going to bend them right at the twining. And don't be afraid to bring them over. Give them a good pinch. They will not stay there. That's okay. But give them a good bend because the more square the bottom is, the better your bass is going to turn out to be. Okay, so you give them a good, a good bend there. And if you hear them doing a little crunch, don't worry. It's okay. If it's good and wet, they will not break. So just kind of bend them over all the way around. <clears throat> this is kind of nice because this is a very small basket, so it's not that many to do, but some baskets that are bigger will take you a bit of time. And what I do is I take the two corner pieces, I have to do these yet, but I take my two corner ones, opposite corners, and I clip them together. Because when I go to re um, weave my basket, it just helps me to see my corners and helps me make a a little bit of an easier corner for me. So now I'll take these two corners and clip them back together. That is upsetting the spokes. Upset with two T's.